everybody, welcome back to Regus Runs Down in Memoria here on Super Two Player. I think this might be episode three. We're still digging out our home in the mountain. So let's just hit play and continue that. So this guy here is digging out another workshop area. These guys have started uh, he started making planks and this guy started making are happy. These guys are planting our crops. Okay, good. We have cotton now, so I'm just going to cut down this tree right here. And we're going to plant a cotton field. So we can call them cotton picking chores, and we can make bags and clothes and stuff. Alright, now he's sleeping. Okay, they're all getting sleepy. See, they're all in bed now. Which, uh... <laughs> I learned uh, the first time, if you uh, don't do that, see? One guy is asleep on the floor. Where is he? Where are you, Kerr? Anyway. So, uh... They rest better in bed. These are just crappy beds now, but we'll make better ones. When we have some workstations up and running. That there's not really a lot to do now while they're asleep. Uh, I assume we'll get more gnomes at some point, but I, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, there's not really a lot to do now till uh, they get up, so I'm just gonna also look through the other menus while we're here. These are kingdoms, this is our general population. We have nine guys, two workshops, so that's the uh, crew workbenches. We have two farms, so. Uh, our current worth is that. These are our workshops. We can can we rename them? No, we can't. Okay, we gotta go back in here. Um, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. No, don't know what that is yet. I haven't really looked too much into these menus. Um, so there are stats on our plants, pastures. We have a a lady yak and a boy yak. No baby yaks yet. So this is our room, our dormitory, where the guys are going to sleep. Now, our next menu is our stock menu. Just showing our overall stuff. We have food and drinks there. That seems a lot for now, but these guys get hungry and tear through it pretty quick. These are our stockpiles. Ah, yes, I'm going to rename them now, because I didn't know you could do that before. It will help for... Uh, There. Stockpiles. Dirt. Capitalization is important. Dirt pile. Uh, you can increase the speed of the time to let it go, but since we're just started off, I'm gonna just use this time to get a bit organized. This is our clippings. So we'll just call our clippings. There's his health, he's not wearing anything, he's carrying a pickaxe. These are his skills, and there is a load of stats. So you can min-max your heart's content, so he appears to be good at mining. 
I think their skills get better in time as they do stuff. And you can give them specific uh, professions. So he's a miner right now. You can actually you can make your own as well uh, in another menu. So if you need a, a guy who is really good at mining, you can set him doing only stony stuff. Or, you know, if you want him to be a stone guy and for some reason be a doctor, his skills aren't very good for that. But you can do all that. So it's it's pretty pretty granulated if you want to dig down that deep. Military, we don't have any of that yet. I haven't even got into that. And this is our events log. Okay, nobody's woken up yet. So let's just increase the speed. Uh, so this is our first level. We're going to start digging down soon when we get stabilized. I would have done it sooner, but we already have a load of rock, so we don't really need to. But there you go. Come on, guys. Uh, you can give everything a priority, so if, say, for some reason, you really wanted this orchard to be taken care of above anything else. We increased the priority to one and we'll leave it at five for now. And it's, it's handy if you want to have, say, this be your main stockpile. And then over here we can have a secondary stockpile for the overflow. We can give the secondary one a lower priority so people will use this one first. Oh, there's one guy up and running. He's very... Okay, people are waking up now. do we have in our clippings? We have a lot of pine clippings, I guess. Apple clippings. Okay, there we go. We're chugging away there. Okay, this is going to be our stone work room. So we're going to go build stone, stone cutter. Now, these are the ingredients, if you want to call them that. Uh, you can give it a sign specific one if you have multiples or just let them choose themselves. The difference it makes the color. Pine is one color, marble is another color. Uh, so we're just gonna leave that there. It won't get built till this guy finishes making the chairs and the workbenches and the chisels, which he can't make until this guy makes the logs or the planks. So it's it's the circle of life. Yeah, you know, it's like any civilization management game you played before but it's it's very nice it works very well i just love watching the guys just go around and do their business maybe i have a bit of a god complex okay so this is the stone work room we're going to designate a stockpile for stone just raw stone in this one stone, blocks of stone in this one, and, and uh, everything else in this one, so no blocks, no, just, there we go. Oh, we're getting quite a nice little kingdom going here, our food and drink is going up guys are working away. We found some awesome stone. When things get bigger, we can build crates so we can even more efficient storage. Uh, the placement of things doesn't seem too uh, harsh. Like, they can walk through each other and walk through things, so you don't have to worry too much about blocking everybody. Yeah, look at them go. Oh, right, because we're going super speed. Let's just slow it down. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, coal. Okay, we're super lucky. We might as well just... Mm, this room isn't doing anything. We'll make a stockpile for... gems. Which we don't really have a lot for. I don't really know what gems really do. You can make them into jewelry, I guess. Yeah, I didn't get that far, so we're going to learn about that pretty soon, I suppose. And we're going to stick our coal here. Coal is used in torches and probably metalworkery. Now 
privacy it's it's much be um, efficient to have a stockpile of logs right near this guy otherwise he'd have to run out of the way out here or wherever to pick up a log every time and then when he makes a plank he's gonna drop it here so this guy can pick it up So he just needs to make a workbench, and this guy should be ready to go with the stonemason. And uh, each bench makes better things, so you can turn make better things and more things. I don't know what he was doing. I love his top hat. It's great. Nerd. Can we rename the guy? Oh yes we can. I must think up inventive names for these guys later. What's that? Okay, there's nothing there, so we're going to just uh, fill in the hole there because mm, where are we going? Farm. There we go. Because we have foraged whatever was there earlier. Just gotta wait. Okay, he's making our stone mason. Was it a stone mason? Stone cutter. Alright, so we just craft blocks, same as planks. This is your your two basic workbenches there, they just start going. Now we're gonna build another stone workshop, the stone mason. It does the same thing, same ingredients. I'm gonna stick it right there. This guy makes this the he makes more more uh, he carves the blocks into useful items. Oh, the guys are going pretty efficiently. They haven't started clearing out these yet, so they're must be pretty uncomfortable sleeping on those stones. His hat. That guy kind of looks like my dad, actually. Um, what's his name? Oh, slow down, fella. Yeah, pause it. Kerr. Alright, we're gonna rename Kerr. There we go. I hope we don't jinx him and get him killed or something. Now it's still in alpha, so there's updates coming out fairly regularly. So I'm looking forward to the final release, so it will be pretty awesome. Uh, I think that's enough for this episode. Um, I'm gonna stop it there, save our progress. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to us here at Super 2 Player, and join us again for the next Regus run down in Nomoria.